Hey, what's going on guys? It's Zed for me and I can't think of a better day than today to actually mount my winter wheel setup. So actually after I just finished uh, shoveling the snow, it began to rain a lot, so I decided to just kind of call it quits and uh, not mount the tires. Um, but luckily all the rain is gone, the uh, rain washed away all the snow. It was actually pretty, no, pretty heavy, uh, about five inches or so of like really thick heavy snow. And uh, for those of you who know, the thick heavy snow is definitely the uh, hardest to shovel. Um, however, now that the rain is gone, uh, it's a pretty clear day today. I believe it's going to be around 50 degrees, which is like actually too warm for winter tires. But um, I'm still going to mount them today because I'm expecting this week to get really cold. Um, so actually, let me show you the wheels and tires that I got. So these are the wheels and tires that I got for my winter setup. These are 17 inch um, Koenig run lights. They are in uh, this uh, matte gray, they call it. They also have it available in black as well as um, just a regular silver. I decided to go with this uh, this uh, matte gray because I think it looks really nice. It came out looking really great actually in person, even better than it did in the photos and I was already impressed by the photos. Um, but my only one worry, I guess, is when I mount these, whether or not the uh, wheel weights will allow these 17 inch wheels to clear the brakes on the R. So I guess we'll find out real soon whether or not these uh, this wheel setup is good to go. I did get this from Discount Tire Direct, um, and it's and I did tell them that this is going on a 2015 Golf R. So if it doesn't fit, hopefully we can get something figured out. But I think Discount Tire Direct has a, a database of whether or not the wheels will fit. Um, these are General Ultimax Arctic tires in 205 by 50 by 17. Uh, as you can see, I managed to get myself actually nine of these tires. Um, originally, my idea was to get some New Speed RSC 05s. Um, however, uh, that didn't work out. But I did get this setup right here, these Ford wheels and tires, um, actually for under $550 when originally before discounts, before rebates, uh, and before some coupons. It would have been over a grand so i definitely saved myself a lot of money so for those of you guys who remember when we got the golf r uh, my wife did get stuck when we used all season tires this will be our first time experiencing winter tires and wheels so um, i'll be happy to give you guys a review of um really just kind of i guess my first impressions with uh winter tires and winter wheels i guess there's no such thing as winter wheels but i guess you know, I'll give you my first experience with these winter tires. Now, these are definitely the most popular uh, winter tires. Definitely more popular than the Blizzak WS80s, which is really more performance oriented. So while I don't have any experience with those tires, I can at least try and give you guys my impressions of uh, what winter tires are like in general. And, you know, just from watching videos online, just from what I've, I've gathered, all season tires act more like summer tires than they do like winter tires. So I really hope that these winter tires will make a big difference and uh, keep my wife or I from getting stuck in the snow this winter. So with these extra uh, tires that I got, maybe I'll mount them onto my daily driver, which is an old Camry, just to help myself get to and from school if needed. Um, the Z4 is most likely going to be staying in the garage this winter. And maybe I'll take it out on the occasional hoon for uh, when there's a lot of snow outside. So uh, what comes with the wheels and tires is uh, this kind of lug nut kit. Um, as well as these hub centric rings. So all, all of this stuff is included. It should be just uh, easy fit onto the Golf R. So I guess the first thing that I got to do would be to jack up the car and take off all the old wheels. So for those of you who don't know, the Golf R does have wheel locks um, on all four wheels, which is why you need this, which comes in um, the trunk of the car. There's a special tool for removing the uh, wheel lug 
like the, the lug nut covers. However, you could just use a regular screwdriver here. I'll show you. So all I did there was uh, break loose the uh, wheels a little bit before I actually jack up the car so that I'll be able to uh, get the wheel off or get the lug nuts off. I just had to get the car high enough so that I could take the wheel off. No reason to jack it up any higher and no really need for a jack stand. I'm not really too worried. So unfortunately, I just tried to test fit the uh, Volkswagen hubcap, see if it'll fit, which it actually does not, um, which means that these Koenig uh, center hubcaps will have to stick with the actual wheel. I prefer just having um, the OEM like a hubcap or center cap uh, on the wheels themselves, so, but uh, it's not a deal breaker. So first thing that you gotta do with these new wheels and tires is to put the hub centric rings on. Uh, and it basically goes on like this. The reason why this needs it and uh, the old RSC wheels from New Speed did it is because New Speed develops those wheels specific for Volkswagen, whereas these Koenigs are developed for a bunch of tire, uh, for a bunch of different cars, which means that they make the um, center ring a little bit bigger. And this ring right here that we put in, this pretty basically has the inner diameter uh, the same as the hub on um, our car here and it allows it to stay centered so that there's no excess wheel wobble uh, when you put on the uh, when you put on the new wheels and tires so we'll just flip this around here and they also include their own lug nuts so we'll be using the new lug nuts as well you always want to thread these by hand before you actually use any impact wrench on them simply because you can cross thread it and that would be really, really bad. So these wheels, I forgot the most important part was to see if these wheels actually cleared the calipers, which they do. So let me show you. So look at this. They clear it by about the width of the actual, um, wheel weights themselves. So I would say that's about two to three millimeter gap, but it looks very flush. Sorry I have, you know, rust all over my rotors, but um, it'll be gone right after I drive the car. But I think they look great. So uh, I'm gonna tighten everything down and I'll do all four corners and I'll be right back. All right, so this is the final product. I just got it all installed actually got a lot warmer so I had to take off my jacket but this temperature is definitely too warm for these uh, winter tires now in terms of first impressions I really do like how they look pretty great um, for something from discount tire direct not to knock them or anything but I didn't expect to get anything that I would be this pleased with and if you kind of look at the offset of these wheels they're a little bit worse than I believe the RSC 10s were but Overall, they really don't look that bad, and I really do like this matte gray color that I, I decided to get. I really like how even in 17 inch, the uh, wheels don't look too small. I'm not sure how it's going to show up on camera, to be honest. Probably going to look much smaller than the RSE 10s, which were 18 inch. But overall, I really like how they look. I really love how the clearance on them is 
just perfect, just enough to fit something through it, but not too much that, uh, or not like too little that it starts scraping or not too much. Um, so it looks very flush, which I really like the look of. I'll just give you a quick walk around. I think once summertime comes around, um, I'll have to probably put these back on, run them for one or two more seasons. Uh, the tread on the front is significantly less than the tread on the back already, which tells me that these tires aren't gonna pro are probably not going to last too long. So my guess is that I will be going through one more season with these RSC10s. And then the next thing to do is probably get some nice summer tires on there since now I have a winter setup. Doesn't make sense for me to get all seasons for the summer. Um, so maybe some set of Pilot Sports or uh, Sport Cup 2s, uh, Super Sports I mean, or Sport Cup 2s. We'll see what, uh, what the future brings. So yeah, that's basically it for today's video. I'm Zed for me. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.